Danny Phantom has been gone for quite a while now, and as as Butch Harmon focuses more on Danny Phantom ten years later with all these art projects, uh, like he's done Vlad Plasmius now, he's done uh, he's done Danny's parents, he's done Danny himself as well as Tucker and Sam, uh, as as well as Danny with an eye, uh, he's been focusing a lot on these characters. Uh, and this has increased the uh, amount of rumors that he's going to be uh, working on a... He's actually going to do a continuation of this, and we're going to see it eventually on TV at some point. Uh, and these rumors have basically inspired this this video, uh, and this video is going to be talking about uh, what would a Danny Phantom 10 years later series actually be like? What would the plot be? So let's get right into it and start with a, a, the potential... Uh, idea that Danny Phantom actually could return. Now, uh, while Nickelodeon has pretty much canceled this series, uh, and there's been no real sign that Nickelodeon wants to pick it back up, there is signs that uh, Butch Harmon himself will and can technically pick it back up where, he, where it left off, or just 10 years later. Uh, for example, uh, he's working on a Danny Phantom-like series uh, that's going to be specifically for his YouTube channel. It's going to be for his YouTube uh, audience only. Uh, and this means that it's possible for him to do a continuation of Danny Phantom, but solely through his YouTube channel. But because of this, we most likely wouldn't get the same voice actors, and honestly, that would 100% be okay, because all of the characters are 10 years older now, uh, and their voices have most likely would have changed, especially Danny's, because he's so much more muscular now, and he's more manly, I guess, is, is, is a way you could say it. So their voices would change, and this wouldn't be too too big of an issue uh, for for uh, this. The only problem is that I'm not sure Butch Harmon wants to focus Danny Phantom solely on YouTube. Like he, I know he's doing all this this these projects and stuff for YouTube about Danny Phantom ten years later, but I do not think that he would want to create and animate this whole series on his own uh, and put it specifically on on YouTube only. Uh, I can see him doing more shorts like he's done more shorts like he has done before. And possibly a comic as well, uh, although I'm not too big on the idea of him uh, bringing uh, <laughs> Danny Phantom to the the uh, comic book to a comic book series. Uh, I I just I, I want to see it animated. <laughs> so now that we've discussed uh, possible possibilities that it could return and how it could return, let's talk a little bit more about how. Uh, w w what the plot would be and all of this. So as we all most likely know is that Danny Phantom has actually a lot of potential and now that Butch Harmon is is teasing uh, a 10 years later uh, storyline this adds even more potential stuff into it and especially uh, when he was uh, drawing Black Plasmius as, uh, as, as like a alien prisoner or whatever that's escaping he's headed back to earth or whatever uh, that was that was a really nice tease and that adds a lot of potential for uh, what his character would do uh, in this 10 years later plot series uh, Danny Phantom thing <laughs> so I, I think the main plot would be a decade after Danny Phantom has saved the earth he he discovers a new line uh, a new group of villains and ghosts that are mysterious and totally different than anything he's ever faced before and this leads him to uh tr open up an investigation more or less to try and figure out what's going on with all these new ghosts and why they're different than ghosts that he's normally fought before of course he's joined by tucker and sam of course you know uh, but the thing i feel like what would happen is as he goes on this investigation he discovers that uh, because he's famous now and because ghosts are like world a worldwide known thing this is going to lead obviously to a bunch of amateur scientists uh, possibly creating their own ghost portals and possibly doing other experiments uh in the field of ghosts and ghost hunting because more scientists are creating ghost portals this leads to a huge surge in ghosts leaking into our world so this means uh this the the, the uh for example the uh men in white uh, perhaps they created their own ghost portal in their facility or whatever. By the way, I don't think we've ever actually seen their facility or where they work. So that would be very interesting to to see in this in this new series. Uh, so so maybe the ghosts in white have their own ghost portal now, and this is also this obviously means that more ghosts can escape from their ghost portal and come out into the world. Uh, the men in white are possibly also doing experiments on these ghosts, uh, which would lead to uh, enhancing some of these ghosts and mutating some of these ghosts. And this is why uh, Danny is seeing so many new ghosts uh, as well as ghosts that are different than anything he's ever fought before. 
Of course, they're like mutated. I'm not like saying zombie ghosts, uh, although zombie ghost sounds very awesome. <laughs> but it's, it's not exactly zombie ghosts, but just some sort of mutated ghosts. Uh, a ghost that's been changed uh, genetically or whatever uh, through the Minnie White's experiments as well as amateur scientist experiments. So amateur scientists are creating ghost portals, possibly even experimenting on them, as well as the Men in, Men in White. I feel like it should focus more on the uh, Men in White experimenting and then just the average average people that are trying to uh, create their ghost portals, they could focus on that a little bit too as well and just like this average person has created a ghost portal that also allows more ghosts to appear but maybe they're not exactly experimenting on them or anything. Okay, so now, now that we've kind of figured out a little bit about what Danny Phantom is trying to, to do 10 years later, he's like, I have to figure out where all these new ghosts are coming from. I have to figure out where, like, why are they so different from anything I've fought? They're like, maybe they're like super strong now, or maybe they're just, I don't know, so different, so odd in some way. Uh, but anyway, he's trying to figure this out, and then uh, at the same time, he's maybe perhaps training Dan Danny, his his cousin, you know, Danny with an eye. Maybe he's training Danny, uh, and he's like, oh, "I'm gonna I'm gonna train her because this is gonna be this is basically gonna be the the basically gonna be his sidekick or something." I do, I do know that uh, uh, Butch Hartman, I think he teased about how Danny with an eye could possibly become a villain. Uh, so I do, I do like that possibility that uh, Danny is maybe she's captured by the Men in White, and you know that maybe they don't like they don't care that they have any relation with Danny Phantom or anything. Maybe they, maybe the Men in White still don't even care about Danny, Danny Phantom, you know. Uh, but they obviously can't do anything about it. They're not going to capture him because that would look really bad on them as well as it's going to be very difficult because at this point in time, Denny has had even, you know, 10 more years of experience of fighting ghosts and possibly ghost hunters as well. So he has a lot of experience, so it's going to be a little bit hard to get him. But Denny with an eye, she, you know, she has 10 more years of experience, but it seems like she was more interested in just trying to be normal in the original series uh, versus just, I want to fight ghosts as well. You know, she she was kind of like, I want to fight ghosts too, but at the same time, she was more like, I just want to be normal. So maybe there's like a whole, Danny with an eye, she's like, she wants to be normal. She's had a little bit more practice with her powers, but maybe she's kind of at like Danny's level, uh, at what Danny's level was at the end of, at, at the end of, you know, the Nan Phantom series. So... Uh, so, uh, D Danny with an eye, maybe she's volunteers, or maybe she's captured by the men in white, and they conduct experiments on her as well as other ghosts. And this enhances Danny uh, in different ways, and um, basically turns her evil. Uh, and that's what leads to another whole arc where uh, Danny, Danny Phantom, is trying to uh, stop Danny with an eye. Maybe she's tr he's trying to change her or something. Uh, so that that's that's another that's another kind of a plot or kind of an arc thing that can happen. And then I feel like in the middle of all of this, uh, Vlad Pazmius, as Butch Hartman explained, was you know doing all that stuff in space. Maybe we actually even see that as, as early in the series where he's up, uh, he's been uh, with aliens and stuff, and he's been fighting aliens, maybe even alien ghosts. He eventually escapes all of that and he finds a way to return to Earth. And so, in the middle of all this, he returns to Earth. But since there's so many more new ghost hunters out uh and um you know probably a lot more ghost defenses uh than he's ever seen before uh perhaps he, he realizes it's too dangerous even with his you know he's got 10 more years of experience so he's going to be even stronger so uh maybe he's like even with this 10 years more experience i'm not exactly going to be able to you know live here i'm not going to be able to do virtually anything especially uh, there's like once he first arrives, there's probably gonna be a lot of rumors about Vlad Plasmius returning, and this is gonna obviously uh, alert Danny, and it's gonna it's gonna worry Danny, of course. Uh, so maybe maybe he maybe he makes himself known. Who knows? But throughout this, he realizes that there's so many new ghost hunters. There's so much new ghost stuff trying to get this dude, <laughs> trying to get him. You know. So he's like, the only way I'm gonna be able to survive, the only way I'm gonna be able to like do anything to the Earth is I'm gonna have to go to the ghost zone. So maybe he goes through the Men in White's ghost, zone, ghost portal. Maybe he even goes through Danny's ghost portal. Or maybe one of these amateur scientists ghost portal. Or in some way, he returns to the ghost zone. And he decides to build a base there. And he decides to build his lair there. His, all, all his, you know, 
lab or whatever. And this is where he lives for basically the, the rest of the series or maybe most of the season or a season or two. So, so as he's here, he's build, he's building up a plot to uh, dominate, you know, become the, you know, dominate the ghost zone as well as tr and use this as leverage to dominate the other zone because he's like, if I dominate the ghost zone, of course I'm going to be able to dominate Earth and you know the real world. So this is this is a potential plot for him as well. So anyway, I think that that pretty much does it for all the. Uh, ideas and, and, and the potential of this series. Uh, I really do hope that uh, it, it does return um, and I hope it returns with somewhat of what I was talking about because that would be even more amazing because I, I, the, the things I'm imagining this would look like is, is really amazing. I actually like there's so many new ghosts, uh, so, so much new powers, like Danny's gonna have, have new powers of course. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm rambling now. So that's gonna do it for the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, uh, and let me know what you think should be done in a Danny Fandom continuation series uh, plot-wise, uh, as well as character arcs and all, all sorts of ideas for what could happen in this. Uh, I, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, uh, I'm not sure this is actually going to help bring it back, but I feel like the more we talk about it, the more we ask for it to return, uh, and the more we give ideas for what can happen, I feel like it can increase the uh, potential for this series to actually return at some point. Um, and as well, you know, just use the, the hashtag go ghost again, like uh, Butch Hartman wants. So that's, that's gonna, again, that's going to do it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe.